Okay, in this video we will finish wiring the ESCs into the PDB, but before that I want to talk about ESC protection because there's many ways of going about this and you really want to protect your ESCs because who likes damaged ESCs? Who likes wasting money? Nobody. Your first option, and this is actually something that I don't recommend, is going to be heat shrink, the stuff that comes on the ESCs once you purchase these. Heat shrink does a great job of protecting against moisture, so whenever you crash through grass or tree limbs or anything like that, your props will cut it up and then moisture gets on the ESC, and heat shrink does do a great job of protecting against that, but nothing else. The number one cause for uh, ESCs breaking or something going wrong with them is going to be these capacitors breaking off. Heat shrink absolutely will not protect capacitors from breaking off in a crash. Not only that, but I also don't like heat shrink because ESCs do get hot. And when heat shrink gets hot, it shrinks, but it can only shrink so much. And you will notice that over time, uh, the heat shrink will try to shrink over these tall components on the bottom side until eventually it will wear a hole into the heat shrink. And then once one of these electrical components uh, contacts the carbon fiber because there's no heat shrink in between the two anymore, Carbon fiber does conduct electricity and your EEC will fry. And if there's anything worse than using heat shrink, it's heat shrink with a zip tie holding it down onto the arm. Because yeah, I understand you do want to secure the EEC to the arm somehow, so whenever you crash through tree limbs, it's not trying to pull a wire out. But uh, I avoid using zip ties because zip ties can slide, and once they slide in a crash, there goes your capacitors, broken right off. Now I know a lot of guys do use heat shrink and zip ties and that's perfectly fine. Once again, build your multimeters how you want to build them. I'm only giving you what I personally do and this is just my advice. So what are the other options? Well, one option, and this is actually something I've done for the longest time, mounting tape. This stuff works great because it's like foam and it acts as a cushion. I'll take one piece or two pieces and put it underneath the ESC, one right here and one right here. And then I'll take two more pieces and put one here and one here. After that, I'll take two pieces of electrical tape and wrap them this way. And two pieces is all you need that will cover the entire ESC and just wrap the whole thing. Then I will solder my wires onto the PDB. After that, I'll take two more pieces of tape and wrap, uh, wrap it around the ESC and the arm to secure it to the arm. Now, I know a lot of guys will tell you that uh, that will overheat your ESC and the ESC will fry itself. That is something of the past. The technology has increased so much in the last year, year and a half, even two years, that uh, ESCs overheating and frying themselves is virtually non-existent. So if anyone tells you that, they're probably an old school guy that's been around for a long time, and that used to be true, but not so much anymore. So you do not have to worry about them overheating. I've been doing that for the last year, and I mean it works great. Your other option will be an actual ESC protector and you can get four of these for two dollars and fifty cents off of Banggood. Here we have the Racer Star 30 amp V2s and we see that it does fit these ESCs great. You just put it on the inside, close the cover, and that's it. Take two pieces of electrical tape and uh, you know put it around the arm or in this case you can use zip ties because the zip tie is not going to knock any capacitors off So use either one it doesn't matter And then another option is just going to be a 3d printed ESC cover Which is what I'll be using just because you know I can I have a 3d printer so but it's going to be the same exact thing as a two dollar and fifty cent ESC covers so now that you have determined how you want uh, to protect your ESC go ahead and put whatever type of protection on and I'm going to slide this up like this. The electrical tape that I used to have on the ESCs holding them in place whenever we got our motor wires the correct length, I'm just going to reuse it. So I'll just put it right back on. Except I'm going to slide it up a little bit to where I can still access the uh, ESC signal and ground wire. And the reason we tape the ESCs down again is the same reason why we did it for the motors. That way we can get the uh, wires the exact length that we want. Just like I did with my motor wires, I'm going to uh, pull these to exactly where I want them and then cut them with my wire cutters. Now I'll just take the wires, uh, trim the, you know, just, I, whenever I cut these, I just make a little like slice in it 
and then I pull the rest off with my thumb. You don't have to cut all the way around. But I'll just do this for all of the eight wires. Now let's pre tin all the wires. Now I will tin all the pads. And then go back to the ceramic tweezers to solder all my wires on because I don't want to hold them with my fingers. They do get really hot. And there we go. Now let's go over to this second multi rotor. Actually, this is multi rotor number one. And because we're using the Dodo with its custom PDB, the uh, the pads are here on the corners, which makes it uh, it keeps the wires nice and short, very clean looking. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'll be right back. Just a little side note, whenever I'm, uh, I use my tweezers to solder these wires on, but I just get them on the best I can. But just to make sure that I'm getting the best solid connection possible, I use the blunt side of my razor blade and I use that to put pressure on the wire and then I reheat the solder and press down. And that way the wire is getting the most surface area or contact area onto the pads and that way you're not I don't know what I'm trying to explain you get the best contact that way and once I finished doing all of that to both of these builds I uh, removed the old electrical tape which was also too short to begin with and then I put the covers where they need to be put a fresh piece of electrical tape on it and now we are set up for the next video where we talk about wiring the ESC signal and ground wires into the PDBs and flight controllers so thanks for watching and I'll see you there.